Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have just another recall to bring to you. It could be important, but this is why we need to pray over all of our food that we bring into our house. Because you might miss the recalls. And the Lord knows not everybody's going to watch my videos. I don't know of anybody else doing recalls. This is why he said we've got to pray over all our food. All right, let me give you this one. So you can pray extra hard over your onions. All right. Salmonella outbreak linked to onions. Throw away onions if you don't know where they're from, CDC says. Oh, that's a nice picture of them. Get out of there. I wanted to take a picture of that. Oh, it's showing all kinds of stuff. There's a little video here y'all can watch. If you want to click on the link in the description box, you can see this little video about how bats and other things are showing up in food. This was written by Kelly Chito, USA Today. The Centers for Disease Control, who I don't trust with my baby's life. I wouldn't trust my dog's life. You get it? I don't trust them. They're not trustworthy and they lie. And they're not even a government agency. Having said that, the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, has linked fresh whole onions to a growing and mysterious salmonella outbreak. Good grief. This needs to go. It's in my way. And I don't know how to... Okay, I have to exit out of it. In a food safety alert Wednesday, the CDC said 652 people have been infected with the outbreak strain of salmonella. Orangienburg. I guess that's the name of it. I never heard of that one. Orangienburg. From 37 states as of October 18th. Onions. You know, farmers used to grow fields of onions. They'd sell a lot of them, sure, but their own, they would just put them in these, like an apple barrel. They hold several gallons, a couple, four gallons, I don't know how many five gallons, put them in their cold cellars, and they might start growing some, like, shoots, but they just cut them off, cut them up, and eat them anyway, and now our onions are so weak, they're catching salmonella. It's kind of ridiculous to me, okay, but this, th this one has uh, got people infected. 652 people. I wonder what that number means to the Illuminati. Because they speak through the mainstream media. You know that, don't you? They do. A lot of people don't know that. So they think they know what's going on, but they really don't. I want to figure out how to find out what that number means. See, I'm not a numbers person. I've not been called to have the gift of gematria and figuring all that stuff out. But other people do. All right, so 652 people have been infected with the outbreak strain of Salmonella orangienburg in 37 states as of October 18th. That's only like four days ago. Today is the 22nd of October. That was four days ago. The number of cases is expected to grow as more illnesses are reported. See, a lot of people just chop up onions and use them raw. In, in certain kind of salads. I love them raw. I like to slice raw onion on a cheeseburger. I haven't had it that way in a long time, but I love it. The outbreak was first reported in mid-September, but the CDC, Food and Drug Administration, and local health officials had not identified a food linked to the illness. According to the CDC, the affected red, white, and yellow onions were imported from Chihuahua, Mexico. Chihuahua, Mexico. And distributed by ProSource Incorporated, which is based in Haley, Idaho. The onions were sold to restaurants and at grocery stores throughout the country. They must have, must have grown acres and acres thousands of acres of onions if they were sold to restaurants and at grocery stores throughout the country. 
recalls you need to know about. All right, this is a link you can click on to find out more recalls, okay? Now, the onion recall 2021. Onions linked to salmonella outbreak in 37 states recalled possible contamination. That's what we're talking about. ProSource Incorporated indicated onions were last imported on August 27. But these imported onions can last up to three months in storage and may still be in homes and businesses, the CDC said in its update. Investigators are working to determine if other onions and suppliers are linked to this outbreak. If they are, then you know it was done on purpose because that shouldn't happen. It, it should all be from one source if it was like occurring in nature. The CDC said consumers should not buy or eat the affected onions. Well, who would buy them? They should be taken off the shelves. The stores that have them should take them off the shelves. The restaurants that have them should throw them away. Or try to return them if they can. Although, I seriously doubt Mexican importers are going to make good on them. The imported onions can last up to three months in storage. Okay, it says throw away any whole red, white, or yellow onions you have at home that do not have a sticker or packaging. See? That's why they're cheaper, the CDC said, noting some may have packaging indicating ProSource as the brand and that they were grown in Mexico. If you can't tell where the onions are from, don't buy or eat them. That's all I have to say about that. If you have onions and you want to keep them, you pray over them. Not everybody can afford to just throw away food, run to the store, and buy more. You may have spent all you have for food on food already this month, like I have. What I have left, I could run. I, you know, if I had a car, I could run to the store and buy more onions, but I don't. I have to order $35 worth of food to get it delivered free. Otherwise, they're charging me a fee for having less than $35 worth plus a fee to deliver it. It's not worth it. I'm already paying them $12.95 a month just to be on their program. This is Walmart's new delivery system. You can have products from your local store delivered, but you really need to buy $35 worth to get free delivery and to avoid that other extra fee. So, to buy just a few items, it's not worth it. Now, I can have them shipped, click, up, click on shipping, and they may actually drive them over here from the local store in a bag with a sticker on it with my name on it and call it shipped, and it's free. That's S-H-I-P-P-E-D, not S-H-I-P-P, -P, as in the company, shipped. Okay, that's all I want to tell you now about onions and grocery delivery. I have my groceries delivered because I don't want to wear a mask for an hour and sit around vaccinated people. So you do what you choose, what's best for you and your family, and that is an option. You can try. All right. For those who don't know, you've got Walmart, you've got Instacart, you've got Shipped, S-H-I-P-P, -P, and Amazon.com now has Whole Foods. If you belong to the Amazon.com Prime Members Program for $14.03, it's what it costs me. It's $12.99 plus tax. The tax is enough to make it $14.03. One of those four programs, you can, but who gets all of their groceries from Amazon? I have Amazon because I get everything I don't get at Walmart or another grocery store before when I had Instacart. These are ways you can avoid having to go into the store if you want to. All right, but if you like getting out and going in the store, they probably want you to wear a mask. I don't know. You tell me. I haven't been to a store in so long. 
I don't know who's making who do what here in America. I just know things aren't looking good. And um, I just figured you probably got to wear a mask. Anyway, I'll end it here and say bye for now, brothers and sisters. I'll talk to you later.